So what you were watching was my husband actually cut down about six oak trees that we were clearing anyways to get out of the way for other work. And what you see here is what's called pocket cuts. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our mushroom spawn and we're going to be inoculating each one of these pocket cuts that are very deep, which will allow the spawn to actually sit in like a cup and then we'll do the same conventional thing where you put the wax over to seal it in so that the spawn can take over the log. So this is our shiitake mushroom spawn. So basically we've got about 1.9 kg, so four pounds. So we'll be inoculating up to six logs with this particular bag and we're just gonna get right to it. So when you first open the bag, everything is sort of sticky. So you wanna actually break it up. I'm using a spoon, guys. Um, if you're like me, you're super busy, and sometimes you just don't have the time to get all the pretty tools to do things the way that you see on TV. So I'm doing this so I can show you that if you're the kind of person that really just wants to get gone because you're busy, but you still want to create your food garden, you are still able to do this with simple, basic, everyday tools that you've got in your drawer or in the house to get the job done. So all you're going to do is you're just going to spoon it into your pocket cut. Brush it on in. And you can see the pocket cut takes it in just like, just like a little container. You can actually spoon it a little bit more if you want. And then we're going to put the wax over it once we're done all the logs. Okay guys, so here is one full inoculated log. You can see that each one of the pocket cuts is full. And now what I'm gonna do is just apply some wax to the pocket cuts. So we're just gonna pour a little bit of wax over each one of these holes. It's not gonna be perfect and it's not gonna be pretty. Now this will cool off enough, quick enough, that it will seal in what is in the pocket. For those of you who are just starting out getting going with mushrooms, or you're starting a new food garden, this is how I inoculate logs uh, to get my mushrooms going, and it's not the conventional way, and you might even be critiqued for it, then here's my advice. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be trendy, it's just gotta work. See you soon.